<clears throat> hey everyone, I know I haven't posted in a while. Um, the holidays going on and the new year. And um, so I don't know about everyone else, but um, I allowed myself to eat foods I should not have. And I was so proud of myself from going from a size 20 to a size 10 in just a few months. Very proud of myself. But I got back in that old mindset. And I don't know how many people that's happened to. But that, oh, I'll just eat a little cheat here and a little cheat there. And I will keep up with, you know, what I'm doing. And I'll weigh. And um, if I gain a couple, then I'll fast. Because fasting's taking care of this for me. And then, um, that's not the truth. Well, I lied to myself. I did not get on that scale because, you know, you see, oh, the scale is not your friend. Don't get on there. Go by the way your clothes are fitting. And, um, my size 10s were still fitting, but I felt like I don't look as slender as I felt like I did. And, um, I noticed I was going from the form fitting women's shirts back to my men's t-shirts that I wear. <laughs> while I'm working and um so I had to have a come to Jesus moment and um got on that scale and sure enough I was not 145 pounds anymore I was 160 pounds so I do not like that um that's like a slap upside the head and um I even remember telling someone who said oh I thought you weren't eating that I'm like oh, I'm fine I'll have a little cheat today and then I'll fast for a couple of days and it'll be fine well, that might be fine, but if you don't jump back on that fasting bandwagon, guess what? Your weight's going to go up. So I was eating all, I was eating all kinds of crud and uh, giving my, justifying myself for doing it like I've done every diet I've ever done in my entire life. I can lose the weight, but I will justify the food that I'm eating and the weight gain. So I need to quit it. I'm 50. Time to grow up, right? So I just wanted to um, touch base with you and um, say, you know, the struggle is real. Um, it's something you always have to be mindful of. What am I eating and why am I eating? You always have to be mindful of it. Um, I'm like, oh, it's fine because I'm a size 10. I'll never be a size, um, a size uh, 20 again. But that doesn't mean that that won't happen. So, um, that was my lovely daughter, if you could hear her. And yes, I'm hiding in the bathroom from my kids, making my YouTube video, because that's what moms have to do sometimes. Anyway, I just wanted to try to say, don't get discouraged. Try not to beat yourself up. We're all human, but don't be so human that you get back to where you started. So, this is at 6 o'clock this afternoon. Yeah, and it is after six, so I'm on, I've done one complete day of fasting, and yes, I am going to not eat until Saturday um, morning at 6 a.m., because I have really let myself slide, and I was doing so good. I was doing the one meal a day, all carnivore, feeling great, and um, I just wanted to get some accountability in there and hopefully get some encouragement from the people who have subscribed to my channel. Um, if you like what you see, subscribe. You can leave me questions. I'll answer them as honestly as I can. Yes, I am back in my 12s and I'm not happy. Um, they don't, they're not tight. They are loose and, um, but I'm comfortable in them. So that is terrible because I want to be, my ultimate goal is a size six or 125 pounds, whichever comes first, even though I do have some people that tell me that's terrible, you'll look anorexic, you won't look right, but I'm only 5'3", and I weigh 160 pounds. That's not pretty. And um, so I'm just, I'm going to try to check in daily and let you know how my fast is going, because I think the fasting app, the Life app said this would be a six-day fast. And I know there will be changes um, you know, cause when you eat what you're not supposed to, it inflames the body. So you swell up. I know I'm probably, um, storm water. And, um, so I am so ready to, um, hold myself accountable. Uh, summertime's coming and I don't like, I like going to the beach, but I don't like how I look in a bathing suit. 
even with all, with my weight loss. Um, I'm still not crazy about it. I got saddlebags. I got what do you call it? Cottage cheese, cellulite. Oh yay! I hope autophagy helps with that. But I have seen thin women with um, uh, cottage cheese. Why can't I? Ever, why can't I think of it? I just said it. Cellulite. There you go. So um, it happens to all of us, and I guess that's just where your fat wants to balloon out. And um, I don't know how many of you watch Six Hundred Pound Life. Sometimes that's an inspiration to me. And even though I have never been 600 pounds. I've been 230. Um, watching them and listening to what they say, their justifications and the reason they're eating the way they're eating and how they got that way. I'm like, I have never been that size, but I have said the same things in my mind to myself that um, I deserve this. Uh, have a box of donuts because I worked all day and I haven't eaten and... Um, I walked um, 20,000 steps. These six donuts are mine. And no, I'm busy. And I'm so glad that my kids still have found my hiding spot. So with that, I will say, please leave me some encouragement. Please leave me questions. Let me know that what you want to talk about. And I'll try to do a live on here one night. I'm not really sure how to do that. But um uh, much success to everyone. I'm going to do my best to check in tomorrow and let you know how day two is going. And yeah. um, just to not get down on yourself, just get back up in, in, and just go forward. So um, hope everyone has a good Sunday night.